oh, my first day at Broadmeadows. Um, it was a little bit daunting. Um, the principal wasn't impressed because I had a leather jacket and long hair and uh, jeans on and I was told to tidy myself up a bit and uh, it was a bit different back then. My name's Alan Robinson. I've been teaching for 50 years. I was attracted to teaching because I really enjoyed my time at school and I always wanted to be a teacher. I had uh, an uncle and a cousin who were both teachers and I was really excited about the prospect of becoming a teacher, working with kids. As a first year teacher, I met my wife Pamela. Um, she was a second year teacher at the school at the time. She was a music teacher, I was an English teacher. That's where we met and we got married in 1977. We've been happily married for 42 years. Just to see the, the students that come through who you taught their parents and in one case, uh, recently, I taught a grandparent when I was a student teacher at Broadmeadows High School. We've had their grandchildren coming through the school. But that's a lovely relationship. And it's also a good endorsement that you feel that there's that trust from the family to place their child in your hands. When I found out he was the principal of the high school, like that's where my boys were coming. Because I know his work ethic, I know his love for the job, and he's an amazing man and teacher. My youngest is in year nine, so he's got to stay on till at least he gets to the end of high school. I don't want him to leave. I don't want anyone else to run the school that my kids go to. No one can ever fill his shoes. For teachers to stay in the system and work for a long time, they can pass on their experience and knowledge to the younger staff coming through. Now, I've been told that in the future, people will have, uh, you know, 10, 20 different job changes once they leave school. Not like us old dinosaurs, but I think it's really important to learn from the past, um, learn from the experience of others, and it is so critical that that advice, that support, that mentoring takes place. I enjoy working uh, with the students. They never cease to amaze me, the students. That's one of the most privileged things you can do is work with the youth of today, who are the leaders of tomorrow, and just to have that relationship with them, it's just so rewarding.